Hi Taurus, this is your September 2019 love and relationship reading. So the jumping card that came out for you this month is deception and envy. So um, what are you guys dealing with Taurus? Is someone lying to you? Someone has you in a third party situation and you found out about it? And now you're trying to figure out how to deal with it. I feel like some of you are walking away from someone because you're just fed up here. Okay. You're fed up with their lies, uh, with their secrets, with, you know, um, having you in third party situations or someone can't seem to settle down and be stable and committed is what I'm getting here. We also have obstacles and challenges, emotional withdrawal. Conflict and defeat. Yeah, see with the five, number five, number eight, you should have two fives here. So there's a lot of conflict between you and a partner. Um, but I feel like you're fed up. It's like no matter how hard you try to combat these challenges and these obstacles, I feel like this person continues to bring you drama. Somebody that you're dealing with just continues to bring drama into your life. It could be with a third party. It could be just that, you know, one minute they're in your life, you guys are getting along good, and then the next minute this person disappears and they come back. I feel like this person comes back or contacts you, like communicates with you in some sort of way, but give you no... Um, no explanation as to why they even walked off to begin with. I also feel like you're dealing with someone who, when you bring up the things that they do to you, they make it seem like it's your fault. So they may like throw it back in your face and say like, well, you're the cause of it because you didn't do this or you didn't do that. Um, so I feel like this month you're going to be withdrawing from someone. If you haven't done it already, I, I see it coming here with the emotional withdrawal. It's like you need some time apart from this person to think about your next move, to think about what is best for you and your love life. And with conflict and defeat, I feel like, you know, you may be saying to yourself, like, I can't win. I cannot win with this person. I either have to accept the deceit and the obstacles or I have to walk away you know I feel like there's like no in between for you because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel with someone that you're dealing with all right let's get into your reading let's see what else the universe has to say about your love life and we'll just leave these to the side in case I need to refer back to them all right so the first card that came out for you Taurus was the eight of swords wow you had the nine of swords <laughs> oh my goodness so you guys some of you guys are really in your head let me just lower my camera a little bit so you can see the cards better some of you guys are really in your head because you can't seem to you need to make a decision about something and you can't you don't even know like what to think anymore some of you i feel like you are trying not to think about this situation some of you could be dealing with an air sign a libra a gemini or an aquarius I really feel strongly that some of you are dealing with the Gemini. I don't know why that just came to me. Um, but with the Eight of Swords here, you don't know which way to go. I feel like you want to walk away and in your mind you're done because you're sick of the fear, the worry, the anxiety with the Nine of Swords and you're sick of this person sneaking off, like sneaking away from you to be with someone else and then, you know, treating you like you're stupid, like you don't know any better. I just feel like I'm hearing somebody is just treating you like you're dumb. And you're like, you know what? Are you seriously going to treat me like I'm stupid and don't know any better? Like, I know what you're doing behind my back. Even though I can't see it, I still know it's happening. Um, Some of you, it's like you could have children together with this person or you could share a home. Um, you could share finances. And it's not easy for you to just up and leave. But some of you just want to be done. Some of you are sick of being in your head with the eight of swords and the nine of swords. I feel like you go to sleep thinking about this situation and you wake up thinking about it. You carry it around with you all day long, just questioning yourself, like, how am I going to get out of this? You know, should I get out of this? Should I leave this situation? Will it get better? And if it doesn't get better, will I be okay on my own? So you have the five of cups. You have the moon. 
And you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, preference Pisces here because of the moon card. Um, with this Five of Cups, I feel like this person continuously breaks your trust. Continuously. Like you may try to get over the things that they've already done to you in the past and then they pile on more stuff. Somebody's definitely being secretive here with the moon card. Somebody got some secrets and they're definitely um, doing things behind your back. So if you're trying to use your intuition and figure out like, you know, if this person is really legit, I just feel like they, they have a lot of something going on here that you're not aware of. But with the Eight of Cups here in reverse, I feel like somebody walked away from you, Taurus, or either you walked away from someone else. Okay, this could be vice versa. Apply it to your situation. Um... How you see fit but with the eight of cups in reverse this is walking away from something and walking to someone else but then backtracking when it no longer works out in in their favor so this could be your partner doing this if they're cross watching or this could be you Taurus. so you have the king of cups you have the queen of pentacles in reverse and you have the Justice card. Yeah, some of you are definitely dealing with the water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And you feel like this person, like whatever they did to you is unjust. Like, you're like, how could you, like, how could you continue to break your promises? I feel like somebody just continuously break, breaks promises to you and then comes back to offer you a cup of love. Because you're showing up in the reverse here. You're like, there's no stability in this situation at all. Some of you um, could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, such as yourself. Um, I also see Libra here with the Justice card, but if you're not dealing with either one of those signs, this is just you showing up, Taurus, in the reverse because you're sick of this person coming in, offering you love, but then doing you like a disservice, like, you know, treating you wrong. And I feel like somebody comes in and they say sorry and they offer you love after you found out something they did. So it's like, no, don't offer me love now like you you're disrespecting me all over the place but then when i find out what you're about you want to come back with a love offer yeah so we have the tower here we have the ten of cups in the reverse oh and we have the queen of swords yeah some of you are cutting somebody off like if you haven't cut this person off you're strongly thinking about it because you're like i deserve the ten of cups and if i can't get it with you i can get it with someone else and you gotta go I'm feeling like this, this is how some of you are seeing the situation that you're in. Because the Tower card is changes, shifts, and transformations that need to take place here. So this is like the universe going to step in this month and bring this Tower down. If it hasn't fallen down already, it's coming down. But I feel like it's needed. So don't fear it, Taurus. Um, you know, if this is you feeling this way, don't fear it because these changes need to take place because I feel like somebody is just walking all over this relationship. They're not respecting it. You know, they're in and out. They're just feeding you a bunch of BS and you're sick of them with the queen of swords. You're cutting someone out and you've had it. It's like you're now, you know, using your head over your heart it's like there's no more like you're asking yourself like what does love have to do with this because just like this disrespect all around the board here you have the five of swords you have the four of pentacles and you have the ten of wands yeah see i feel like you try to hang on to a situation taurus as long as you could there's um, fire here too. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Ten of Wands. But this situation is very burdensome for you. You're tired of walking around defensive. I feel like you're defensive. Somebody is waving the red flag though. Okay, somebody wants to give up. But I'm feeling like this person does this all the time. Like they wave the red flag. They want to give up. They want to say they're sorry. They want to come back in and fix things. And then they come back in. They get the chance. You give this person the chance to fix it. And then they go right back to doing what they did to you before. And you're like, no. You know, I cannot continue to put up with this. So we have the Three of Wands. The Two of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands. So for some of you, I'm feeling like your partner may have walked away. You were waiting. Okay, for some of you, I feel like you're waiting for your partner to walk away from a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. And they're very confused here with the Two of Swords. And I feel like some of you... Now, this is a specific 
this is not for everyone this is a general reading so um this may not resonate with each and every Taurus out there so take what resonates and what doesn't leave the rest right behind but somebody is waiting for their partner to walk away from a fire sign in Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you're tired of waiting you're like are you going to leave this person or not because you were supposed to have been gone and I should not have even allowed you I should not even given you the option to walk away. It's like you're thinking now, like, I should have walked away from you when I found out about this situation. But since you're dragging your feet, like, I'm not going to wait for you anymore. I feel like some of you are just like, you're, yeah, you're cutting somebody off because I feel like they could be dealing with a fire sign or someone with fire in their chart. But somebody's dealing, you're waiting for someone to leave a fire sign here for some of you, not for all. Um, so you have the Seven of Cups, you have the Death card, and you have the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is someone from their past. I feel like somebody walked back to someone from their past with the Six of Cups here. They had some nostalgic feelings, but um, you're going to end it if this person doesn't leave this fire sign for some, whoever this is for. You're like, you're putting an end to it because you're like, I have options elsewhere. And if I don't have options, I can make me some options because I'm not going to sit here and deal with this. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio um, and you're waiting for them to leave a fire sign. I don't know why that just keeps coming up here. For some of you, it could be any sign that you're waiting for someone to leave. They could have went back to someone, but specifically it's definitely a fire sign for some of you. So you have the Knight of Swords here. Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to rush, come rush back in here. You have the Eight of Swords. And you have the Star card. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius specifically. And this person is going to rush back in. And you guys are going to have a conversation. And they're going to want to tell you the truth because you're leaving. You're out the door. They feel like you're gone. And if this is not an Aquarius that you're dealing with, you're dealing with someone who now sees you in the light that you want them to. But it may be a little too late because now they're like, you're their wish fulfillment with the star card. They really want you and only you. But you're like, I don't, mm, I don't know if I really want you anymore because look what you put me through. Look at everything I went through. Somebody's rushing back in here, though, with the Knight of Swords. They have something they want to say to try and save their relationship is what I'm getting. We have the eight, yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody's thinking about this. Somebody wants to heal this relationship. Yep, in the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So somebody is coming back in here. They're going to offer you some, or try to offer you some stability. But I don't know if you're going to go for it. I don't know if you're going to go for it, Taurus, because... You've given this, I feel like for some of you, you've, give, you've given this person like so many chances that you're out of chances with them. It's like, I'm, like I'm fresh out of chances. Like I can't give you another chance. Like if I feel like you're looking at the situation, like it makes you look foolish that you have given this person all of these chances to get this right. And even though now they're coming in saying they're legit, they're leaving this third party behind and they want to focus on this one sort, which is you. They want to offer this abundance to you, this Ace of Cups, this new beginning. And they're looking at you now as their soulmate. You may look at it as they're looking at you like that because they're going to lose you. And you're like, no, like, had I not put my sword up and got Queen of Swords on your ass, you wouldn't even be thinking about leaving. I mean, yeah, you wouldn't even be thinking about leaving this other person. You wouldn't be thinking about coming in, offering me this Ace of Cups and acting like I'm your Two of Cups. Like, where was this? I'm feeling like some of you are like, where was this energy before? Like, where did this energy come from? So now I'm your two of cups. Yeah. Somebody doesn't want this to end. We have the world card in reverse. We have the page of cups. And we have the magician. Somebody is coming back and trying to manifest something with you this month. I don't know if you're going to go for it, Taurus. You may be over their ass. For real. Those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you to everyone who ordered a private reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on Instant Go, so if you have a question, you can reach out to me there. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.